Welcome to the process of uh, neck and shoulder and scapular massage. Please note this location, this ambience is only for shooting sake. This is not how it will be done. It will be done in the privacy of your treatment room. It's just that in the shooting time, the room feels quite congested with the lighting arrangement. So we just shoot it outside. So this is done in such a manner that you feel as comfortable with the process. The therapist would do maybe in lying down position on your uh, tummy or it can be upright on a stool or not a chair but at least a stool. The most important factor in this is that you need to sure, assure yourself that you're going to be just relaxed. Uh, the more you make the stiff body, of course, difficult for therapist to do. Second point to assure is to request the therapist to use not much of oil. We need more friction between the therapist's hand or fingers and your body. So lesser the oil, better it is. Third, any kind of rash may please be reported, if at all you have. You never know if you are sensitive to some kind of oil or the ingredients of the oil. The last most important point is to bear in mind that it is always best to allow them to do for 15 minutes. And why we do is, obviously, the connection of the neck or the starting of the neck is the starting of the vertebral column. And the health of the spine is so much important in today's life where we are seated most of the time. So this ambience is just for show sake. I repeat that again. Please never request for this kind of setting. And we would never do it outside the therapy room. It is totally inside the therapy room. And for the sake of uh, sample, the gentleman is showing you. And uh, please be informed that the process is going to be a bit differently done by every therapist because every therapist has their own style. But one thing is undeniable in every therapist's action that all the area meant for the massage would be definitely, definitely covered. And you will definitely feel that the neck and the shoulder and the scapula has been sufficiently and thoroughly touched and worked upon. That is definitely going to happen. And this is one therapy we have the widest method of uh, being uh, manipulated by a different technician, but the result is the same. All that we need is an enhanced movement of this area and that definitely happens.